Hey guys, what's up? It is uh, Mother's Day, May 8th, 2016. And I am home from Maryland Sheep and Wool. Yay, welcome home. <clears throat> and of course, whenever you go away from home, things happen. So I have the the CV, the CPVC pipe that comes off of the hot water heater that goes to the washing machine has failed so the, there is no hot water in the house right now uh, so you gotta get that fixed and then we also got to get the flooring in the downstairs bathroom the subfloor fixed because the person we keep getting all these wonderful surprises this is an older house and let's just say that some of the work that people did to it in the past prior to us buying it was not professionally or correctly done. And But we're the ones finding all this stuff and then, or it's failing on us and we're having to fix it. So needless to say, we don't have the shower deep for the downstairs bathroom. That has to be fixed as well. So yay for Mountain Wool. <laughs> so this was um, Mountain Ship and Wool. So I went there. I don't have the book with me. It's out there. I do not feel like going to get the book for this year's festival. Um, you can go to the website and you can see their thing. So because of my shoulder, I didn't take my spinning wheel to sit and spin. So I went to the Walks for Acre booth. And I gave Anne and her mom their Mother's Day presents, which was some virus oh, shawls that I had made. And you guys have seen those shawls before because there's some of the 16 that I did. I gave them, gave them two of them. One of them was one with the ice yards, and one was one with the James C. Brett Lake colorway. So I uh, got, because Velvet, I've spun her fiber almost every year that I've been going to marriage, Maryland Chicken Wool. So I got some of Velvet's, because Velvet is one of the older sheep, and her, her fiber is this real pretty oatmeal -y mort color and so I got some of her fleece <clears throat> and I got some of Arvin's fleece and you guys who've been watching me for a while and who know me know I go to this booth every year and get some of their fleece and I sit and spin and talk and just have a good time this is very nice his is, is, is a typical churro it's softer than a churro fiber be. So, process fiber, process fiber. Not a lot of buy raw fleece anymore. So it's process fiber. Let us spin up fast. It's light and airy, and it's like um, eight ounces. Both of those bags are eight ounces. So after I went to Walks Far, I went to Jim's Turnstile. I have cake here, and she has a cone on her head. You guys been hearing some rattling, some knocking and stuff? She got fixed. So she's got the cone of shame on. And she looks silly. Okay, so I went to Jim's turnstiles because I always go there. You know that. I'm going to get me some spindles. And I got two new spindles. And I'll show you guys. Those spindles. And I got to find my allergy medicine because my allergies, since we got back to Virginia, my allergies are starting to kick up. Um, so this is one. It's a camera. Okay. Here's one. I don't know if going to focus on it. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Spindle, and it spins very nicely. Let me show you. This fiber is just some fiber that some bamboo I got a couple of years ago, and I've just been spinning it a little bit here and there. So, so it spins really nice. Beautiful spin. It spins for a long time, too. Okay, sit, 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 sit. I'm not taking that cone off of you. So, that was spin one. And then the other spindle I got from Jim's turnstile this year is this one. 
and oranges. Okay. And this one is a warm. Let's see if I can read it. This is a one ounce. I think it's a one point one ounce, maybe. She got fits and she doesn't know how to freaking act. As you can see, it has a real good um, twist on it. These being, they're very balanced wheels, these pillars. <coughs> Excuse me. But, I'm very happy with both of them. Might have to tweak the hook on that one just a little bit. Okay, so those are the two spindles that I got. I might have to yeah, tweak it just a tiny little bit. Okay, okay, be still, be still, be still, be still. Alright, so there's my spindles. Okay, so then after I left Jim's turnstiles, I went down to the Little Red Barn. And I go there every year as well. And I got fiber from him. Let me close it back up. So that you can come pack your bag. I always open them up so I can squish the air out when I put them in my suitcase. My suitcase. I only take one suitcase. I get my stuff and I squish it down. So I got two of these purple and grays. And this is um, fine BFL. So, I got two, and you guys, I don't know if you're going to be able to see the colors good. Yeah, you kind of can only one to my left, which is to your right, I think. This, this one, this one, you kind of see the colors better. And those are purples, not blues. So, just think lavender. So, I got two of those. And... When I went there today, this is from the first day. So I got two of those. And then I got, I think these are the same. I'm not sure. Yeah, these are the same lot. Okay. So it's two of these. Mm -hmm. Four, uh, these are four ounce bags. Let's see if I can get the color. Uh, I wish you could see the colors good. Even if it was daylight out here, you would make it see that good. So, I two of those. And one of these. Alright. It's like oranges and some blues and some peach and some purples and some greens. I really can't wait to spend this one. It's going to be so pretty. Yes, they're all four ounce bags. So, I got that. And then I left the main barn. And I look, started looking for um, Gail's Art. Gail's Art is normally in bar, barn five at the back. And there were so many people milling around back there that I didn't even see her. I just was like, you know, whatever. So I just left. So I'll find it Sunday when it's not as bad. Um, so I left there and I went down the hill to near the sheepdog trials. There's some tents over on the right hand side. And that is where he's still okay. That is where um Dragonfly Fibers and some other vendors are at. So I went to Dragonfly Fibers and I got these. And this is all this is on Saturday, mind you. It's a Poleworth silk. And it's 85% uh, Poleworth, 15% silk. And this is the colorway called Oriental Poppies. And that's almost showing up true color. Um, it's real, real pretty. It's very pretty. 
So I got that one. And I got this one. And this one is the She. She. It's also 85% pole worth and 15% silk. And from Dragonfly. This, this one. Those reds are a little bit more vibrant than that. So. Poor KK. I know. I know. You just miss with that giant cone on your little head. So. And I have one more purchase that I know. Um, more, okay. I have a, one more purchase from the main barn for a Saturday. So then after that, you know, I went back up to the main barn. And I got, I went over to the Clay Monsters booth. And I got my Clay Monster for 2016. And, and this is my Clay Monster that I got for 2016. Isn't it awesome? Put a detail in that. So, <laughs> so yeah, so I got that. Never will be crinkling in this video. If you have on headphones, you might want to mute it for a minute. And then I have two more things from Saturday, and then I'll show you guys Sunday's purchases. So, so then I went down to um what is it called down there in the is it Stony Mountain? Uh, yeah, Stony Mountain Fibers. I went down there and this is fin sheep. I got two braids of it. Oh hush. Hush. It's purples and grays and lilac. And then you got the one with the orange and the greens. And the orange is darker than that. Mm -hmm. So I got two braids of that fiber from Stony Mountain Fibers. Mm -hmm. So that was all of Saturday's purchases. Mm -hmm. Okay, sit. Sit. Good girl. <coughs> So after I left there, we went back to our hotel and hung out and knit and stuff like that. And got went and got dinner. We got PF chain and um, and crashed. So we lead on to today. So today we went back out there early and I hit up the shops I couldn't get to. Or just didn't, you know, because we left. So we left at like noon. <clears throat> and we were tired. So we hit, I hit up the shots I couldn't get to, like Gail's Art, Kookaburra. Um, I went over to the Bee Folks to see if there was anything I wanted. Because I usually order from the Bee Folk during the year from on their online website. As I run out of stuff, I order then. Um, and I went to, I think it's Acre Farm. And she's always in a booth with Lavender Hills. And I usually get Cordell from Lavender Hills, but I didn't want to get in because I still haven't spent the Cordell I got last year. So if I didn't spend the fiber that I got purchased the previous year from somebody, then I didn't go buy more from them because I need to spend the fiber I got from her from last year. But I have I didn't have anything left from Acres, so I went and got some of their um I got a, a standing yard from her. Yep. I digress. First, I went down to Dragonfly Fibers again to see if she had some. There was real pretty yarn she had. It was like a mint chocolate chip, like a very light minty color with these browns. It looked like mint chocolate chip. It was gorgeous. So I went back to see if she had any, and she didn't. But while I was there, this caught my eye. And it's called The Colors of Happiness. And this is on her Dejeuny um, base. 
and it's eight percent superwash, ten percent cashmere, ten percent nylon. <clears throat> it's four hundred and twenty yards and a four point two ounce skein. And um this is salt weight yarn. I don't know if you guys can see all those colors, but it's kinda looking true to life to me. Um but yeah. This I had to get this. And I look back over some of my, my previous Maryland shipping rules and this is only the second skein of yarn that I have ever purchased at Maryland Shipping Wool. All my other purchases have been fiber over the, the I think it's been almost 10 years. Going on. So I've always purchased fiber or fleece. I I've only purchased one thing of yarn before, and that was from Puckerbrush Farms. And I made something for my daughter Marissa with it. So yeah, so I got this and it's gonna be something awesome. Probably gonna be a shawl, probably be my next shawl project. So that was purchase number one. So then I left there and I went up to, like I said, I went up to the main what acre in the main. And I went up to Acre Work Acre Acre Farms and then I came back down to the main bar. So the one at the Acre Farms, I got this. And this feels like awesome. I'm not sure what rules is. Do they say? This is a DK weight. I only got it's 110 yards, so it's gonna be a, like a hat. And they, it's a, I think it's a mixed breed, mixed yarns of domestic wool. She, she doesn't say what type of wool it is. I know her friend sells. Um, this feels like awesome. Um, but it's a real pretty color and it's on the green spectrum this is showing up as a blue but it's a green like a spruce deep spruce green so i got that then i went back to the main barn and i went back to the little red barn and there's this strawberry cream looking yarn on fiber i got one of those and um found out that he had been robbed that night of all his cash receipts that he took that day before or that somebody was out there doing stuff like that stealing their people out there stealing and, and it's just ridiculous so then I went to Gail's Art I thought the main bar I got I went to um Wild Hair because when, when I tried to go to her booth yesterday, she was just inundated. And these colors are a lot more vibrant than that. It's like dark, rich reds and and greens and brown and purple and a gradient. It's a gradient. You can, it, yeah, you can kind of see it from back there. So, so I went and got that from Wild Hair. Then I went to Gail's. Okay, sit down here. And um, and I got this. It's a BFL, I believe. Yeah, hundred percent BFL. Colorway Skittles. And it's a four ounce braid. There you go. And I got this from Gail's Art. So I know if you follow me every year, you're like, you go to the same places every year. I go to these same places every year because I'm never disappointed by their prices or by their product. So yes, you do right by me, I do right by you. I keep going to see you, buy your product, <coughs> and telling people about your product. Because I think I've gotten about four people, four or five people, if not more, to purchase gummos from, from Jim. From turnstiles, so these spindles are beautiful. Even if you don't want to spin, and if you're going to create some type of spinning, like shadow box, like you know, kind of fiber related shadow box or something, then I would recommend getting one of his spins for the art, for the quality of them and the artisticness of them alone. All right, so that is the end of Marilyn Sheepin Wool. After after we did our show and tell for our group, we got in our cars and we headed home. Hey, hey, what are you doing? 
Yes, I know. So we got in our cars and we and we headed home. Um, I was riding with Liz, and it was an easier trip home than the one we had going. Cause when we had going, it was like tons of wrecks because it was raining. People were driving like buttholes and getting the wrecks all over the place. Okay. Now, when I got home, I had mail. And this mail is from Lisa Jr., who is um, a podcaster. Kate, sit. Sit, sit, sit. And, and um, we did like a little swap. I saw her cake. I did, I sent her, like, she had messed up one of those knee-high socks that she was making. And she was like, oh, I don't think I'm going to frog it and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, frog it. I was like, if you frog it, I'll send you some hand sperm. So she frog it, and I sent her hand sperm. And so she asked me what I want. So she got, I wanted some of that yarn that she's been using from Mexico. And so she got me some of the yarn from Mexico. Mm -hmm. And so I like how she packed it. She packed it. She used some book pages to wrap it in. Cool. Pretty cool. So let us see what is in this supper. All right. So you guys get to see. I'm gonna ask you. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, I like this. She sent me. This is so cool. Okay, so this is the Omega Hills of Mercer Risotto. For number six, knitting 70 grams, 100% cotton yarn. This is real pretty red. I think this is the same red she was using to make those those socks, those lace socks, stockings of hers. And so there's two skeins of that. And there's this black called Far Favorito. Favorito. And is um uh, is it black or navy blue? I think it's navy blue. And it is a hundred percent acrylical. 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 So this is uh that. Okay. Then there is one skein of this real pretty buttercream, buttery creamy color. It's seventy percent acrylic and twenty seven percent nylon. And it's called Trinzy. It's not white, it's more of a right about there. It's about that color, like, like a cream. And then she sent me two skeins of Nazca Andina. And it is Acrylic, Lana, and Baby Alpaca. So, 6% acrylic, 20% Lana, and 20% Baby Alpaca. So, I'm wondering if Lana means wool. And, um, hmm. But this is DK weight. So, yeah. So, thank you. I love it. Can't wait to make projects with it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, the other thing she sent me. Let me open it up. All right. Okay, sit down and be still. Blind cell. Oh, she sent me wedding buttons. Look at this. Can you see those? <laughs>
laptop thing won't focus. There, there are one, two, three, four. There's five of these suckers in here. Five wooden buttons. They're so cute. Come on. Okay. Let's just let me unmute. I'm going to read it to myself. Yeah, so Lana means wolf. Okay. Oh, be quiet. Okay. <clears throat> Believe me, I will find a good use for this girl. Thank you, thank you, thank you. These buttons are just too freaking cute. Maybe we'll go out and cut down trees and drill holes and make me some buttons. This is just too cute. Look at that. I hope it should be focused. There you go. Really cute buttons. Cute, cute, cute. Alright. So, um, I do have a finished object, but it's in another room. So, um, let me go get it. I'm not gonna pause because then I gotta splice videos together. So you know, y'all know how I roll. What you see is what you get. So yeah, so I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna run into the room and get that for you guys. That's it, Kate. So, oh, wow, you're gonna kill me. She can't, she got this freaking cone on, and she's nosy, she can't see nothing. Lay down, lay down, lay down. Okay, so this is the book for this year. There you go. Okay, stop, stop. You get hurt. You're gonna hurt yourself. Go pull your stitches out or something. So I finished the mermaid sleeping set. Y'all, you are freaking annoying today. There we go. So I finished it. You see, it folds. It folds on this side. Okay. Right, so I finished the mermaid sneaky set. I'm working on number. Oh, I don't even know anymore. 16 or 17? I think it's 17. Yeah, 17. Virus shop. I started it. I started it over and on. On the way to Merlin Shipping Hall. That's how much I have done. So I'm on the second ball of yarn or third ball. I think it's the third ball of the blue yarn, and then it's going to trim in black. So that's the one we I also worked on my socks. So I only got the blue left, the black left after that. So I worked on my socks, and I will show it to you guys. Let me be careful because I don't want to pull anything out. Okay, so this, I made good progress on 
crap. This these socks have been like driving me crazy this weekend because every time I turn around, they have I they're and I and I put them so that they don't come off the needles. But I left my needle holders home. Oh, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Cause your mom and daddy, when you have surgery, and they should be good parents. They don't need no real kids. Hush, Kate, Kate, hush, 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 hush. Yes, I know, I know, I know. They ripped out your female reproductive organs. But that's a good thing. There's no one allowed to procreate in this house. No one. Okay. Oh, I still got one. Crap. The joys of drop stitches. Cake. Push. Cake, be still. What you doing? Stop. No. No. See, she smells that wool and stuff. And because she got that cone on her head, she can't sniff it properly. So she's having this freaking hissy fit. All right. So, okay. So this is how far I've gotten with his socks. And it's like, that green is like a real neon lime green. It's not the color that's showing up. It's like a neon green. And, um, Kate, hush. Get. You gotta tear up something. You can see the cone. Hey, Kate, Kate. I know. I can't pick you up right now. I know. I know. Poor Kate, Kate. Poor, poor Kate, Kate. So it's a lime. It's a, like a neon lime green. So I worked on this in the car. And so you guys remember how much I had done last time. So I made some good progress on that. And I don't think I have anything else for show and tell in my bag. I need to find my crochet that I was using to work on that barber shawl. Mm -hmm. So if I can't find it, then I might have left it in business car. <laughs> She'll find it. She'll save it for me. Her other side of nine hooks. Oh, yeah, and I have to fix that too. Mm -hmm. I need to find, find my hook. Oh, the joys, the joys. Oh, yes, this bag has pockets. This is one of Sean's bags. My friend, his husband. It's his sweater size bag. And it says, long side, knit stitch, knit together, decrease, furl two together, contrast. Curl. Just lots of knitting terminology. And the inside is this beige color. And it has pockets. It has pockets. And it is a very sturdy bag, an awesome bag. And I need to find my crochet hook. Cake. Not bad. But that's it. That's everything I have for you guys. Um, I had a blast at Marilyn Sheep and Wool as usual. And uh, yeah. If, you, if you're on the East Coast and you're close, I mean, there are people who came from f all over. All over. There are people who flew in just for Maryland Shipping Board, just like they do for Ryan Bed. So, but if you ever get a chance to go, go. All right? You'll have a lot of fun. Take care.